bright duty every student matters first of all we will see what are the rules for image formation through concave lenses the same three rules not the same rules but the counting remains the same there are three rules which govern the image formation through a concave lens first rule states that any ray of light coming parallel to the principal axis will appear now will appear word we are using why because we have just said in the beginning of this topic that the concave lenses are diverging lenses will appear to pass from focus let us see in the figure this is assumably our concave lenses fine this is the principal axis this is the optical center now this is f1 and this is twice f1 we have related this thing that the principal principal focus of the concave lens will be in front this will be now f2 and this will be twice f2 opposite to that of the convex lenses now if a ray of light is coming parallel to the principal axis it diverges in such a way that it appears to pass from the focus this is the first rule second rule just opposite of it any ray of light passing from the focus will become parallel after refraction how let us see this was our convex lens sorry this is concave lens this is principal axis optical center this is f2 this is twice f2 this is f1 this is twice f1 any ray of light which is coming like this that is it is coming through the focus after refraction it will become parallel to the principal axis got it the third rule states that any ray of light passing from optical center will go what undeviated means it will go straight means it will not bend just same as that of the convex lenses this is a concave lens optical center this was f2 this was twice f2 this is f1 this is twice f1 if a ray of light is passing from the optical center it will go straight without any kind of deviation or bending from its path clear to all now after considering these rules let us see what exactly are the various positions of objects where we will place an object in front of a concave mirror lens sorry then we will see the position of image formed again we will see the nature and size of image clear now there are two options two positions that we just consider one is anywhere between optical center and infinity anywhere you keep the object between optical center and infinity its first position second position when the object is kept at infinity fine now we will see where we are going to form the images let us take first case this was our concave lens this is the principal axis going this is the optical center this was the f2 
this was the twice f2 this is the f1 this is the twice f1 got it now what we say is we say that we have kept the object anywhere starting from here i'll take right i take the object here first ray of light as per the rule this was the object ab as per the rule we take any two ray of rays of light fine first ray of light going parallel to the principal axis shown with the arrow direction and it will diverge in such a way that it will appear to pass from the focus right fine the second ray of light i'll be taking from the optical center so i just take this ray of light from optical center and we know that it will go undeviated fine so these two rays of light are diverging from each other they appear to meet at this particular point and this point we will see that this will be our image a dash b dash so if we want to locate the position where is the image formed the image is formed between optical center and f1 and in front of the lens got it what kind of image we are looking at this is a virtual image because the actual light rays are not meeting each other it is a virtual image it is an erect image because it is formed above the principal axis and it is a diminished image as compared to the size of the object we see that the size of the image is quite diminished reduced small got it fine now we have talked about anywhere so let it be in the same diagram i have object i have brought in the object a bit closer this is my object ab now first ray of light parallel to the principal axis the blue line that we are drawing and it will diverge appearing to pass from the focus second ray of light i'll pass from the optical center going straight undeviated now a bit of a bit of a change that now we see that the image formed is over here instead of here but still when we explain it the image is once again between o and f1 so same in front image is formed same between o and f1 same virtual same erect same diminished images formed every, every time so that is why we have just included all the positions of objects in this particular first position first point anywhere between optical center and infinity now one important thing we need to see that when i am talking about placing an object anywhere between optical center and infinity in front of a concave lens we saw that the image formed was always between o and f1 slight here and slight there doesn't make much difference on the nature and size of the image all right a bit of change when the object is kept kept at infinity this we take a new fresh page and a fresh figure fine this was our concave lens this is our principal axis optical center f2 this was twice f2 this is our f1 this is our twice f1 fine object is placed at infinity so there is no point in showing the object we will show the light rays which are coming parallel to the principal axis from that particular object from the center will bend them and they will bend diverging away from the principal axis so we see that these light rays are diverging from each other these light rays are not going to bend they are not going to meet in front so what we'll do is we'll extend these light rays why because they appear to pass from the focus so the image formed will be at focus got it here we'll get the image and what we'll see is we'll see that the image formed first of all the image formed is at f1 of course in front of the lens image is virtual because the light rays are not actually meeting image is erect above the principal axis and now it will be a highly diminished image point sized image that will be formed 
in front of the lens mind you all right so this is all about our convex concave both the lenses the rules for determining the images and the ray diagrams governing the image formation just practice them i hope you have understood all about this thank you so much thanks a lot